This may be the most powerful GPU you may be able to get your hands on if you're lucky. This is the ROG Matrix Platinum. This is a whole new level when it comes to the 40 series of GPUs because it's been a while since ROG has put out a Matrix style of GPU back in the 20 series actually. They skip the 30 series because what they wanna do is when they feel they have the right technology to actually make a matrix style of GPU, then they put it out. So this is not something that just comes out every year. It's a rare thing and they don't make a lot of them because these are specially binned GPUs. Kind of like the Intel uh, KS processors. The KS is that specially binned version versus the K and you get higher clock speeds and all kinds of nifty features when it comes to fun overclocking experiences. This is basically that. The Matrix is that specialty line of, uh, yeah, enthusiasm. So this video is going to be the unboxing. Next video, we're going to be testing this out to see what numbers we actually get. This is an impressive looking GPU and the packaging. So I first saw this at Computex in Taipei, Taiwan earlier this year, and it was all roped off. We didn't have much information, but it was definitely unique looking. Let's unbox this right now because this is something special. So let's see if I can do it without tearing the box because it looks great. Here we go. And here we have the ROG matrix with folds up like this. Okay. So, uh, this is what it looks like. Look at that. Yeah, this is a, uh, something special. I've never seen a GPU box this large. So let's just kind of open this up. I love the see-through window. This is, that's hot. Now, this device is so unique. Ooh, that's, that's an interesting smell. Unfortunately, we don't have smell vision readily available right now, but yeah, this is an incredible piece of hardware and design. The, the Matrix line is no joke. They, they really do take things to the next level. And there's going to be a couple of ways that you're going to want to consider to mount this to really display uh, its looks and its features, obviously. The RG Matrix Platinum is definitely a unique design. You probably won't see a design like this anywhere else. You'll notice the tubing here for the radiator. It is attached to a 360 millimeter radiator that is actually considerably thick as well. So we'll get into that in a little bit. And then this frame, this metal frame is just very solid, very impressive. So when it comes to mounting this, you may want to vertically mount this to really show this off. At the right angles, you can see the copper in the GPU. So this is a really interesting design giving viewers the ability to see things you wouldn't normally see in a GPU. And it's very interesting that the tubing actually comes through to over here. So almost this entire area right here is being cooled. So this is one copper plate that's cooling the GPU die, the VRMs, and the RAM. So now that we've had the top-down view, let's go ahead and take this to the next level and see how we actually take all this out because it's one large piece. It's all connected here. And so we have this, all right. Um, so this is just some foam that you can easily take out. It's got some padding uh, for the bottom of the GPU, obviously. And then this is all connected to the AIO. So let me show you what the back of this looks like first. And this is very flexible tubing. So you're gonna have some capabilities for when it comes to mounting it. And this thing is beautiful. Absolutely streamlined, just a, a beautiful piece of work. I, I gotta say that. So we have the logo here. So if you're actually going to install this in a PC like this, you're gonna miss out on the glory that this is. Uh, there's also cases where you may want to install it like this. Perfectly fine. So we're going to go over some orientations, but there's a lot of uh, subtle RGB that you'll be able to see when it's like this as well. Some like this, but this is, this is the money shot right here. 
This also has the new ATX 3.0 power adapter here, the 12 volt. So you wanna make sure that you have the correct power supply for your needs. You can use an older power supply if you want, but honestly, if you're an enthusiast, you probably have the new ATX 3.0 standard. Underneath the RG Matrix Platinum RTX 4090, you'll find the radiator and fans. This radiator is definitely thicker than most AIO based GPUs that I have seen. And the fans are very clean when it comes to their cable management. They're actually connected to each other by these pogo pins right here. So that greatly reduces your cable management, making this all nice and tidy, especially with the look of this matrix GPU. And this tubing is nice and clean, very flexible, very strong as well, giving you confidence that you're not going to really have any leaks. So I'm liking this design and the look. Now, when we take out this radiator, we'll notice that it does have some nice logo here. So it's RG matrix on the side. I actually like this. It's nice and clean. The radiator itself is not too heavy, actually. Um, it's, it's a nice size overall. So I like the fact that you have all that surface area and uh, I'm looking forward to the testing. So stay tuned for that. And so in the box here, we have this uh, packaging and it actually says uh, thank you for, ooh, there's a little teaser there, for purchasing an Asus graphics card. I absolutely love this. This is kind of cool. And it looks like these kind of like peel out. So maybe you can like set this up. We'll have to uh, play around with that, but this is, this is nice quality. And then we have some brief instructions for how to power the GPU properly with the ATX 3.0 cable or with the splitter. You can get a 20% discount on cable mod products, warranty card, of course, and we'll talk about that because this GPU does have liquid metal in there. The ASUS quick start guide. So uh, yeah, read your manuals. This is something new that RG is doing. This is actually an NFT. So uh, I don't want to show too much of it because it actually has like QR codes and stuff, but yeah, you get an NFT. And then we have the card, the Republic of Gamers Matrix. This thing has all the bars for overclocking, all the bars for dis heat dissipation. And uh, yeah, this says the ROG Matrix GeForce RTX 4090 delivers the absolute pinnacle of performance, featuring liquid metal thermal compound on the GPU die and a premium 360 millimeter AIO cooler. The ROG Matrix design reaches the highest GPU boost clocks while delivering excellent thermal results and quiet operation. This, this is metal. And on the back, it has the NFT redemption codes and stuff, so I'm not showing that. But yeah, this is, man, that's, that's gorgeous right there. And then way at the bottom, we have our splitter. So when you have a GPU like this, I do highly recommend just having the newer ATX 3.0, you know, the power supply units. It's the one with this new power adapter right there. Um, you can use the splitter, it'll be perfectly fine, but why, why go through all this? I highly recommend just get a new power supply unit. And then we have the uh, Velcro strap. So yeah, there you go. And that is it. And so there you have it. The ROG Matrix Platinum RTX 4090 is an absolute monster. Uh, it's a piece of artwork almost as well. This thing is going to get thoroughly tested, so definitely stay tuned for that video. This is just the unboxing to show you what the experience is like, all the goodies that comes with it, and really the, the presentation. Uh, the presentation is, honestly, yeah, the best presentation I've seen for a GPU to date. So shout out to Asus for sending this over, and uh, stay tuned for the build video where I actually will be putting this in a system as well as thoroughly testing it. This does have a couple of different modes. There is a switch right here, so you can do your, you know, your normal gaming mode, as well as your performance mode. Uh, also with the, uh, the tweak software that actually ASUS actually has, this is something that you have full customization on when it comes to actually overclocking. The software is called the GPU Tweak 3, and so you're gonna have plenty of options to use there. Uh, automated overclock you know so it actually looks at the system looks at the thermals and will just give you the best overclock it thinks it can do and then it also has its preset overclock which is basically just one click and you're overclocking but then 
It has the fun part, the, the manual overclocking. The overclocking that probably if you're into a GPU like this, you're gonna want that experience of the manual uh, sliders and adjustments and everything that you're gonna do because this is being cooled by liquid metal. The temperatures are much lower than you would expect, um, especially when it comes to comparing it to traditional thermal paste. Liquid metal is just a, an entirely different beast. It's basically an enthusiast level of um, thermal paste, I'll put it that way, but it's, it's different. So I've done plenty of videos on liquid metal applications, how to apply it, um, the best use cases, stuff like that. And um, basically it's a direct dye application. That's what's going on here with this GPU. The, the copper plate is directly touching the GPU die and in between is liquid metal. There's also a seal around there to make sure that it doesn't spill and like get all over the place. Yeah, so you wouldn't want to actually open this up unless you really are experienced with working with liquid metal. That's the big draw of this. Not only the liquid metal, but also having this very thick 360 millimeter AIO and of course the ASUS fans, um, you're gonna get the basically fine-tuned performance to get the most out of this binned GPU. That's the big thing. Remember, this is a binned product. So out of all the testing of all the RTX 4090s that you know ASUS basically has, they're basically hand-selecting the best, the fastest, the most overclockable ones. And after all their testing, we have the Matrix line with liquid metal. So thanks for watching this unboxing experience. Uh, feel free to hit that like button if you like videos like this. Maybe we'll do more of it. And uh, of course, feel free to hit the subscribe button, you know, and uh, say hi in the comment section. So stay tuned for the full review of this, all the testing. It's going to be in multiple videos and uh, possibly multiple builds to show you different orientations on how to actually install this and showcase it as well. So stay tuned for that and uh, thanks for watching. Peace out.